We're back. We're here. We got our little clown homie. Uh, Babs is wearing a bolo tie. Cheers. Cheers to bolo ties. Bolo? What is bolo? YOLO means you only live once. What would bolo mean? Um. Ah. Uh. Bald, old, lazy. Ladies only. Okay. No. No? <laughs> I don't know. All I don't, right. I don't know what bolo means, actually. That's a good question. Bolo! Yeah. All right. Well, we're here. Uh, we, uh, we're back. We're here. We're doing it. Yep. This is another episode of According to My Wife. Yes. Um, we've done, we're, I, dude, we've done a lot now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have. We've done a lot, and I feel good about that. I feel I good too. about Oops. that. Um, editing is a little tiring, um, especially all the clips for social media that sometimes nobody cares about. It's okay. It's so weird. It's so inconsistent. I'll post one clip on Instagram, and it'll get like a few thousand views. And then I'll post the same clip on YouTube, and it'll flop. Yeah. And then I'll post the same clip on Facebook, and it'll get like 3,000 views, but only like 10 people like it. And I'm so confused. I Nothing. can't figure out what works, what doesn't work, what's worth doing, what's not. I feel like we have to do it either way. We want people to listen and pay yeah. attention. Because we upload on Sundays, and I usually don't start like the heavy promotion until Mondays. Yeah. And like we do get some listens right off the bat, but I really got to push it really hard in order for people to listen. Yeah, so. I feel like nothing makes sense. Some no. things work, some things don't. You try the same thing twice, one thing will work, the other doesn't. I don't know. It's weird. Social media algorithm is a is a unique beast. Yeah, it it's is. not one that I can that I can crack. Oh, I, every now yeah. and then it works. I do have some things that work. Yeah, um, and then some things I'm like, some of like my favorite clips, like the funniest clips, just don't do well. Yeah. And it's, eh. it bothers me. Yeah. Like the two short clip. Yeah. That one's hilarious. Yeah, I don't know. You didn't think it was hilarious at the time, and that's what makes it hilarious. I guess, yeah. You were like, that's not even funny. And it's kind of funny. I interrupted your thing to do it, to do two short biatch. That's funny. Yeah. And I, the people that, the, it did do well on YouTube, and a lot of people liked it. And then it totally flopped on Instagram. Have you been reading YouTube comments? I have. I have been reading Is YouTube comments. Is there some comments. pretty, like, like, no, I I have scary. You know, comments. I no, not at all, not at all. Um, Brutal. <clears throat> no, not really. I mean, I get worse ones on my stand up clips. Oh, okay. You're talking about people are saying things about you. Yeah, some people are just like, "You're not funny. You suck. Don't quit your day job." Really? Oh yeah. Some people are like, "You what? should die." I can't no, believe they you. don't say that. Oh yeah. I mean, I posted like abortion jokes, and they're just like, "Oh, I get these oh, long rants I'm talking where just, more like, about." Horrible. Oh well. No, no. Like on our podcast clips, like, uh, no, we we don't get a ton of comments. The too short one though, we did get a lot of comments. Okay. Yeah. Of everyone was like, either either they were like, "This is hilarious," or they were like, "I don't get it." And then there were people responding to like the I don't get it people. Oh, they were those like people too are short like as a rapper. 21 years old, 23. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Or like 70. Oh, okay. You never yeah. know. I have yeah. no idea how YouTube pushes that algorithm, yeah. like their, that content out on the YouTube shorts. I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, that's um, funny. Yeah. I didn't yeah. really think about that. Yeah. But I have been, I have been reading and responding to all of the YouTube comments, even if they're negative. Like, I'll just be like, like, I forget one. It said something like, Along the lines of like complete stupidity, you're an idiot or a moron or something. Oh. No. And I just responded with, uh, thanks so much for watching, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. Cause like, Wait, people told you to die? Yeah, there's definitely people who are like, yeah, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. Well, like on like uh my what's it called? The rant the Disneyland rant video where I was like, you know, it's a joke. It's a joke. We're not being serious. Yeah. But if you didn't, if you missed that nuance, you would think that I'm a horrible person saying horrible things about. Oh, I see. About people in motorized carts at Disneyland. Yeah. So there were definitely people who were like, "Yeah, like why don't you shut up?" or blah blah, like just bad things. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were gonna fart. I thought you were. Gosh, no. I don't know. I just, you were repositioning. Yeah, I was repositioning. That camera, dude. Did you say fuck that camera? I didn't say fuck that camera, but fuck that camera. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, annoying. I was repositioning because I feel like I was facing this way too much and not towards you. We got you. Got to face me. That's why I moved. We're I'm engaged in a conversation here. Yeah. That's we're we're having we're doing this for the purposes of other people to listen. Yeah. But right now it's just you and me, bro, bro. That's right. All right. Dude. Um. But yeah, I have been responding to YouTube comments. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning to not take things personally. It's just some stranger on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, exactly. Who and, knows who the hell they are? Well, and I learned that from like when my I was doing taco videos on TikTok, and they were like. Because I had a bunch of videos go viral, and uh, people are very, very opinionated when it comes to tacos, especially in Los Angeles. 
So I had a lot of people. I had people telling me that I should die because of my opinion on a taco. And the funny thing is, I never even really Who gave. Says that horrible people. There's just there's a lot of hurt, angry people on the internet. They're wow. they're they're bad. Um, but I had the funny thing was is like I specifically did my taco videos to not be like to not be like this is really good. You should go here. Mm -hmm. It was more just like this place exists. Yeah, that was like what I tried to do. You know, I was like, this place exists. This is what they're known for. Mm -hmm. This is where it is. Go try it out. That was it. I wasn't like, you should like this. It's amazing. It's better than all the other tacos. Yeah. Except in a couple occasions. But people took it in a different way. Like, yeah. like you're suggesting this over something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But see, that's odd to me that people feel the need to, like, they get so angry and worked up over something that somebody else likes that they don't, like, a different opinion from theirs. But it's weird to me that people can, like, I've never gone on the internet and been like, you should die. Like, who? I know. Right? I something know. Something like that. Trust me, I know. I don't I don't understand Gosh. anybody that goes on the internet and, and leaves a negative comment or an argumentative comment, like, period. Yeah, like, I don't get I it I think at all. everyone has, like, negative thoughts. Like, you'll watch a video and you're like, oh, what a jackass or right. whatever. But, like... To actually be like, you're a fucking jackass. Like, I don't get what? it. Why? Yeah. Just say it in your head and continue with your day. I don't Scroll get it. Scroll past. I don't get it. Yeah, just just move on. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, that's fine. Yeah, you don't have exactly. to like it. You don't, you don't got to like anything. Yeah, you can also just because like, I decide to put something on the internet. It is public domain, so I understand. Sure, yeah, you have the right to say that. I mean, yeah. But like, but you don't have to. No. I've watched a ton of things where I'm just like, oh, this is, this is horrible, or this is bad, like, or this guy's. This guy's an idiot. I would never go like, you're so dumb. But this is the funny thing about that, though, is like the people that go out of their way to say things like that to people on the Internet, it actually says more about them it than does. what they're saying about the person. It does. And that's why I'm and like, I don't think they realize that. That's why I'm like, OK, you know, the funny thing, like, especially like on my on my like stand up clips, like I'll get in front of an audience and I'll tell those jokes. Yeah. And if I don't get a laugh, that's Im that is immediate evidence that what I said was disapproved of yeah, or they didn't think it was funny or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't bother me for some reason yeah, because it comes with the territory. But for some reason, like when I first started posting standup clips online and people were like, people were like, you fucking suck. Don't quit your day job. Jeez. This is, this isn't funny at all. You're not funny. Stuff like that. I was like, ah, oh, that hurt for yeah. some reason. I don't even know who you are. Yeah. Don't even know who you are. At least if I'm on stage in front of a crowd, I can look someone in the face and see that they're not laughing. They're physically there. Yeah. That doesn't bother me, but some rando in the Midwest that I have no idea, I'll never meet ever. Yeah. I'll never stand in an elevator with them ever. No, you'll never meet them. Never. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, uh, this upsets me. I'm like, now I'm like, I don't even care, dude. Yeah. The internet is a weird, fucked up place. Well, that also reminds me of like one of my favorite quotes, which is empty vessels make the most noise. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Or hurt people hurt people, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing, dude. Yeah. And that's what it is. I think I think personally it's just yeah, like you said. This is it's it, this is more about it says more about you mm -hmm. than it says about me. Yeah. Like let's spread kindness, people. Yeah, dude. Let's be nice to one another. Yeah, don't be a dick. Yeah, keep your mean thoughts inside your head. Yeah. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, that's asshole. Right. Yeah, jerks. <laughs> we just completely contradicted everything. Yeah. Cheers to a contradiction. Uh um, sure. Yeah. So, uh, oof. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything that needs to be mentioned outside of the general context of today's podcast. I don't think there is. You chewing the ice now? Yeah, My I'm ice sorry. Melted. My ice melted. There's some ASMR for listeners. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to uh, we're going to Seattle. Yeah, we're going to Seattle. I'm super excited. We're going to Seattle. You get next to week. see my childhood home. I know. Which you've been we've waiting been, for this. So we've been married for almost 16 years yeah, now. Yeah. And you have never seen where I've grown up or my childhood home, my childhood town, mm -hmm. nothing. And so this is like a really big deal. I know I for know. you, you're like, you know, yeah, I'm going to Washington. But for me, I'm like, oh my God. I know. And I'm over here like, the Space Needle. I know. And I'm like, no, that's such a touristy. Like, who cares about that? Trust me. I know. I know. I know. I know. <clears throat> I am excited to see all that stuff. Um, because I know you've wanted me to see it for a very long time. Now we finally get to do yeah, it. Yeah, like my hometown and stuff. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Lake Stevens, Washington. Lake Stevens. Yeah. I was talking about this the other day with Jimmy Shin because I mentioned it. I was like, he was like, you going on the road anytime soon? I was like, yeah, I have some shows coming up in Vegas. I'm going up to Canada. I was like, oh, I'm actually going to Seattle next week because he's from Seattle. Oh. And I was like, what? No way. And I was like, yeah, my wife grew up in Lake Stevens. He's like, I know a bunch of people in Lake Stevens. What? No yeah. way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, That's small rad. World. Small world. Huh. I would have went to uh, LSHS, Lake Stevens High School. LSHS. Yeah. Right on. But I moved away. 
Yeah, to uh, cool San Diego. Yeah. Which is nice. Yeah, it is. Do you do you sometimes wish that you would have stayed in, in Washington? I don't know. That's a really hard question. Um, yes and no. Yeah. Uh, I, th- I wish I would have stayed for many reasons when it pertains to my family. Right. Moving away from your entire family is definitely an odd thing when you're 12, about to be 13 years old. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah, and so that's a... In, all of a sudden you move to a uh, state where you don't know anyone, let alone have zero family members. Right. That was definitely like a culture shock for me. It, culture shock in so many ways, actually. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Um, but, Especially San Diego, because San Diego is a very, very specific oh, I got teased. California culture. I got teased a lot for like my clothes yeah. and like just because I was from, you know, the middle of nowhere. I think that town that I grew up in had like 10,000 people or something. And then I moved to San Diego. Oh, yeah. And it's like a lot of people BG yeah. like just way different um and so in some regards uh yeah it would have been really neat but i also i don't know i think that you know everybody has like a destiny sure and i was supposed to move where i did i think about stuff like that like uh you know do i wish it had gone a different way or whatever i think about it like this like cuz there are things like i have very i don't like to say that i have regrets in life i have i have things that maybe i wish i had been more like intelligent at the time to understand that maybe would have benefited my life later. Mm -hmm. Like I never went to college. That's not something that I necessarily regret exactly, but like I am a little disappointed with myself that I didn't let me have that opportunity to have that experience. I feel a little differently. Uh, I actually think it's okay to have regrets in life. I think without having some type of regret for things that you did in your past, I think that that just shows that maybe you didn't learn from some of the things. And I, I know you can still learn without having regret. But for me, as my personal like experience in life, I find that there are things in my life that I do regret doing or experiencing or having choices that I made and mm-hmm. I regret them. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's fine because that shows growth and mm-hmm. um, it shows that, you know, as an adult, I can now look back and go, well, I'm really glad that I'm not making those choices now. Like, I do have regrets. I understand that. Yeah. yeah. You know, I understand that. I understand that. Th- to me, I think about, I think about in a way of like, okay, if I say I have regrets or I wish I would have done things differently, it's me in a way kind of saying that I'm not happy with where I'm at in life right now. Okay. I think that's, uh, that yeah, to see, me. Yeah, see, I don't feel that way. Because I really feel, I really feel like every life is this sequence of events that mm-hmm. are all interwoven yeah but you don't know it at the time yeah you have no idea but Mm -hmm. that decision that you're making at that moment leads you to another decision that impacts decisions way later in life that impacts where you end up i mean to some degree uh like i don't regret the path that i went down i know i made a lot of mistakes as a teenager and a young adult um and i don't necessarily regret all of those decisions but there are things that i wish i had been a little bit more aware of or you know paid more attention to and i regret some of those things being a parent at 22 years old Mm -hmm. i have regrets about some of the decision making i made but i don't regret becoming a parent at such a young age right right and that's that's kind of how i feel i feel like i can look back at things and go i wish i had a little bit more common sense yeah exactly because maybe it would have helped where i ended up in life Mm -hmm. but also i am very happy with where i ended up in life yeah had i maybe not made those decisions maybe we would have never met maybe we wouldn't have our two beautiful yeah. kids you know? yeah exactly and so i don't know at the end of the day like yeah i have regrets about certain things but i don't i wouldn't change anything at the end of the day yeah I that's kind of where i'm at that's kind of where i'm at mm-hmm. too like if i if i go back mm-hmm. and change it i'll do it all over again i don't think i would do that i wouldn't be the person i am today and i actually really like who i've become me too it took me a really long time to get here yeah. like really long for sure yeah Took but, us both you know. a long time. We've been alive for a little while now. Yeah. We outlived Mozart. Yeah. We yeah, learned, we, we did. About that recently. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, shoot. <laughs> this has been a very deep intro. We uh yeah, our, wow. the last episode we recorded was all about poop and farts. Yeah. And now <laughs> Yes. And, and now here we are talking here about we are. life. Now and we're like life and deep philosophy and yeah, regrets. Yeah, wow. But you know what? That's I think that's okay because people can see that there are more sides to us than just like fucking around and, and poop and farts and poop and farts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, all right. Well, we I think that's we are. We have depth. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we're deep. Yeah, man. We're thoughtful. Right on. We're philosophic. We're philosophical. That's right. We have philosophies. Okay, so anyway, yes. All right, so yeah, anyway, with that uh, deep philosophical introduction out of the way, I am a little too fat for this shirt, and I'm feeling it. Um, 
But let's get into today's topic. What are we talking <laughs> about now, Babs? Okay. Let's learn something. Yeah, let's learn something. Let's learn some historical tidbits according to my wife, Babs. All right. So today we are going to learn a brief history of wigs. Wigs? Yes. I'm losing my hair. Are you saying something? Oh, actually, no, this isn't about you. Okay. But you might take some pointers. What? How would you feel if one day I got a toupee? You know, okay, so there's actually a TikTok uh, account that I follow, and uh -huh. this girl does a lot of, like, younger men's, and, mm -hmm. like, they look amazing. The ones where they, like, just, like, peel it on and yes. paste it and then cut it and do everything? Yeah, and it looks so good, and you can see such a difference in the before. The men just kind of look, like, really sad. Yeah. And then afterwards, like, there's so much confidence. It's really amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, uh, you know, every now and then, like, I'm, I think I'm doing generally kind of okay like overall yeah like on my hair it's receding a little bit you know a little bit you're of the doing cold okay going. i've actually seen some guys that i w remember from high school and like you're doing a lot better than some of these oh dude i see I'll, sometimes i'll be doing stand-up with some guys and they're like super bald like george costanza bald wow and they're like so i just turned 24 and i'm like what, what? No dude way. i'm like i'm doing okay here you're doing all right the other day my friend uh my friend nick jerry was like he was like, man, how are you 38? You got some great genetics, not a gray hair in your oh, beard. Oh, you only saw. And I was like, yeah, well, you know, the lighting is good in here right now. I was like, I plucked them, I plucked them grays out of my beard. And oh, yeah. Well, but here. your dad has like not a lot of hair on his head. My dad's bald. Is he? I don't remember. I didn't really look at his head last oh, time. Oh, there's he not was much here. there. He's got the two Homer Simpson hairs just <laughs> on yeah. the top that he stubbornly holds on to. Why? He blow dries them. No, he, he does blow, not. I swear to God, you should he blow dries pick them. those things. Just pluck them. Well, I was like, I always made a joke. I was like, Dad, you don't have to blow dry it. You could just pinch the single drop of hair out of each one and just slide it out. But you run the risk of plucking it at the same time. Yeah. They're too delicate. Very important hairs. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, my sister at Brooklyn's birthday party the other day, my sister was like, uh, as we were saying something about, I think my mom was like, you're losing your hair, Ricky. And I was like, yeah, I know, Mom. Thank you. She yeah. always says something. She mentions that. it. So, yeah, I'm yeah. like, I'm aware. <laughs> I comb it yeah. in the morning. Yeah. Um, and and my sister was like, Well, you have more hair on your head than dad had when he was your age. My dad was like, No. No. Oh, I totally heard him say that. No. Uh -uh. Yeah. Uh -uh. And I, I wanted had, to I be had like, more I had more hair than that. I was like, Dad, I've seen your pictures. Yeah, I actually me. wanted to say I've seen him like holding you when yeah. you were first born. And yeah. I'm pretty sure he had a lot less hair. A lot less hair. Yeah. A lot less hair. Yeah. But it was it was there. Yeah. But it was definitely a lot less than what you have. I'm doing. I'm doing all right. Yeah, doing you're doing right. fine. But you know, I, apparently, a lot of people in Hollywood have hair plugs. Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah. Apparently, a lot of people. Those are like popular. Well, I mean, I don't know. Like you see, sometimes you see these old, these older celebrities. Like how old? You, how old's John Travolta? Well, I guess he's bald now. But uh, what? yeah, is? you haven't seen him like, but creepy, creepy, I don't know. creepy. I don't keep up with some things. I guess. Well, I don't know, like George Clooney, for example. Oh yeah, like these people, what? they're good. They're good-looking people until they're very, very like at an older age. Like that's not real. That's yeah. not natural. Yes, that doesn't happen. Everybody, yes. it's. People, not the whole world doesn't just get old and hit 70 and look 70, but then conveniently all these Hollywood actors don't just look 70. Just to not, yeah, like no, share. It's, yeah, it's a lot of that stuff. Yeah. It's a lot of it. It's, yeah. it's just a lot of vanity. They have fake teeth, veneers, hair plugs. Yeah, yes. So, so, anyway. so I'm getting hair plugs. No, you're not. What? No, you're Why not. not? I don't know. Do they still look all like funny, like the little dots? Oh, no, technology's great now. Wow, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. really? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Get hair plugs. I don't I care. I could have a beautiful head of hair, dude. All right, then do it. Wavy. Just do it. Uh, okay. Wigs. Wigs. Wigs and hair extensions have been worn for centuries. Throughout history, we can see many examples of why people wore wigs. Uh, archaeologists have discovered that people have most likely been wearing wigs since around 3400 BC, starting in ancient Egypt. Wow. Ancient Egyptians were insecure. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if it's insecure, but they, they you know. Fashion? Fa yeah, I think so. So, sort of. Egyptians were not fond of body hair, but they did think thick hair on the head was a great status symbol. Mm. Yes. You know, I think of like those like, um, you know, North African and like um, Middle Eastern cultures and yeah. like people. Great hair. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Um, no, it's okay. I just I touched it and then it moved. Anyway, um, wigs were worn by men and women who were higher up in society. Such people as politicians, pharaohs, and queens. Still similar, right? Donald Trump? 
Uh, well, yeah, his hair is definitely not his hair. No. There's no way. You would think a billionaire like that like could afford better hair. Yeah, and also not be so orange. Why did he land on the hair that he landed on? I don't know. You know? Yeah. Who advises him on his, like, look? I don't know. Um, I have no idea. Or fashion. Um, Cleopatra's hair was more than likely made more thick and beautiful using wigs and hair extensions. Some archaeologists have found remains with sheep's wool that had been braided into hair to create a fuller look. Mm. Mm -hmm. Should I braid sheep's wool into my hair? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Egyptians are credited as blah, blah, blah. Egyptians are credited as the inventors of the wig. Wigs were worn for ceremonies and were created with such materials as real human hair, vegetable fibers, horse hair, and sheep's wool, and were most likely attached with beeswax. Vegetable fibers. Like, wow, your hair looks amazing, Diane. <laughs> it's like the celery. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's celery. What about the top of the corn? Corn husk. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh my god thank you celery sweet potato <laughs> those don't have hair uh -oh. <laughs> uh, in the 1500s queen elizabeth the first wore wigs uh because she had lost so much hair from uh having smallpox she Ooh. also i know Bummer. yeah but she survived Ooh. Uh, she also wore wigs to enhance her height she is said to have had over 80 hair pieces her hair pieces were mostly made of sheep's wool. Mm, interesting. Yeah. In the 16th and 17th centuries, wigs had become increasingly popular. King Louis the X is 10, right? Yes. King Louis the 13th of France was one of the first high-profile historic men to wear custom-made wigs. Louis was said to be bald, and that was why he wore wigs. Baldness could ruin a man's social status. No, well, that still remains true. <laughs> Soon after, men in high society would mm. often wear wigs in everyday scenarios. King Louis the XI5, so 10, what? The 14. 14th. King Louis the 14th of France wore long, luxurious wigs and is pictured in many portraits with his wigs. They were made of human hair that was collected from poor women who grew their hair out specifically for the purpose of selling it. I love the way you said poor women. You were like, poor women? Like, <laughs> Did those I... poor women. They are poor. <laughs> um, were they selling their hair or was it they, just being they stolen? They grew it out uh, specifically for the purpose of selling it. Okay. Yeah. Which is sad. They were like, I can't make money any other way. That's not, that's not a terrible side hustle, though. It takes forever to grow hair out. I mean, yeah. Yeah. But what if that got you like... A whole bunch of food. What if they got you like a year supply of food? I mean, that would be cool, but I doubt that that got you that much. It got you a potato. Yeah. One two potato, potatoes. Two potatoes. One potato, two potato. Three potato. Four. Hair. Hair. <laughs> Human hair meant for wigs also came from prisoners and patients from hospitals. Most often they were powdered to hide the smell. Damn, that's a bummer. You're a patient in the hospital and they're like, hey, we know you're sick and all, but... They're like, We're, you're going to die. Can we... We really need your hair. Yeah. <laughs> for the rich. Yeah. For the rich. Wigs. Yeah. For the elite. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so it's it's bummer you're dying and all, it's but... really sad. Man, this guy in the castle, he's getting kind of bald. Yeah. Uh, Marie Antoinette was incredibly famous for her big wigs. Her wigs would often have... Big wig. Big wig. Her uh, wigs would often have feathers, flowers, and jewels in them. After her first pregnancy, her hair became fine and wispy, so she wore wigs. At one point, Marie's poof would be as tall as four feet and powdered white with flour. Poof. Poof. White with flour. So, uh, real quick, this isn't in my notes, but I did read that that was a little controversial because uh, at the time that she was, like, the queen, yeah, um, there was really low uh oh, how do i say this there was not a lot of grains mm -hmm. so people were starving mm -hmm. and there wasn't a lot of like grains to to make flour mm -hmm. and so there wasn't a lot of bread mm -hmm. and she was like and she was like fuck mm -hmm. those people fuck you, my peasants. wigs need to be white i need a well flowered wig that's right wow. yes um elite 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 assholes yeah i notice a lot of our our subjects talk about the elite and how like how much they were just like, Ugh, screw Ugh. you people. Ugh. We do what we want. Peasants. Yeah, peasants. One of her most iconic wigs featured a model ship to celebrate a French naval victory. Wow. There. Have you ever seen the picture of no. like the portrait where there's like a big ship? Nope, oh. have not. Okay. 
Uh, wigs were not only a status symbol, but were also worn for personal hygiene as well. Powdered wigs, which were also called perukes, were also worn due to an increase in syphilis. Mm. Yeah. One symptom of syphilis was hair loss, and people wore wigs to hide this. Wigs were also worn because of head lice. Jeez. Yeah. One could shave their head and uh, wear a wig and avoid the itchiness of lice. If lice were to occur with a wig, the wig could simply be removed and boiled in scalding water. Yeah. Yeah. Lice, wigs. Yeah. A man's wealth could often be determined due to his elaborate wigs, and this is where the term big wig came from. Big wig. Big wig. Another type of wig that was worn was called a merkin. Do you know what a merkin is? I know is? what a merkin is. How do you know yeah. what a merkin is? Well, because I now I'm I do comedy in L.A. A lot of people are actors. Okay. Yes, I know the merkin is the fake vagina. Yeah, yeah. Hair. It's yeah. not just. I don't think it's just vaginas. Fake pubes. Yeah. Yeah. So a merkin was worn on the pubic area and dates back to the 1450s. Did you know that apparently every time you see a dick, a penis in a movie, it's not. That person's real. So dick. you said that, and I don't know, cause like, okay, if anyone has seen Euphoria, there are so many dicks. Those are fake dicks. Those are prosthetic dicks. Is that why they're all so big? Yeah, I'm like, how do they find specifically guys that are just so hung? Yeah. No, it's they're fake. They're fake. They that, put isn't that kind prosthetic of like dicks over ridiculous their dicks. though? Because if it's a real dick, it has to be rated um, NC-17. Isn't that kind of ridiculous well, though? You know that what? All Actually, these guys that, are. I might. Okay, that might be specific to movies. Okay. Television well, not necessarily because I do have something different. in there slightly about that, but okay. not about the dicks. Okay. But also, don't you think that's kind of like sad that like all the guys that like get these roles and they're like, "Could you actually wear this?" It's, they're like, "Sorry, know. we need a thicker cock. We need a much bigger yeah. one." Uh, prostitutes would shave. And by the way, did you catch on to that? They've been around since the 1450s. Merkins. Merkins. Mm, okay. Uh, prostitutes would shave their pubic hair and wear merkins to combat pubic lice. That's how these became a okay. thing. Okay. Sex workers also wore merkins uh, to cover up any signs of disease or syphilis. Okay. Yeah, that's actually scary. But back then, there was no like antibiotics so it's like you know it's just they were also it. weren't they also using like sheep's bladders and stuff for condoms and shit yeah but i don't even know if people really used those that often they just raw dogged on the merkin i mean i think that how, how often was somebody like let me grab the sheep's bladder like you know yeah i, I don't, don't know i don't think those so. were filthy times no matter how you look at it yeah those were dirty dirty vaginas and and buttholes penises too and penises they were probably all like yeah not everything was gross yeah Everything was gross. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Merkins are still used today in the film industry to avoid full frontal scenes, which would change the rating of the movie or show. Yeah. See, there you go. Yeah. yeah. So when you see that stuff, it's all fake. Yeah. That's so weird, though. Yeah, it's weird. Whoa. It's weird. Um, This was a short. This was a short one. My sources are wikipedia.com, thehairalchemist.co.uk. Yeah. TheCollector.com and DenverHairRestoration.com. <laughs> this was a short one. This was a this short was one. This was a short one, which yeah. is something that the casting director said to some of those actors oh. that needed bigger, Ooh. thicker prosthetic cocks. Look at you. Jokes. You like that? Got I got jokes. jokes. Yeah. I got jokes. So. Um, all right, wigs. I said it's a short, his, a brief history in wigs. So. A brief history of wigs. Quite brief, yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. I think, you know... Uh, there's still a lot of wigs going on these days. Look at the oh, uh, what the Kendall Jenner has that hair. That's totally not. So that's totally one thing I didn't add in my notes that I'm glad you just pointed that or out. No, about is it Kendall K Kylie Kylie Jenner? I don't know with the little bob wig. Maybe. Um, I, I think a lot of like celebrities and like I don't know mm -hmm. famous people wear wigs, mm -hmm. and that's why they're able to change their hair so often. Um, one thing I wanted to mention though is uh, I I did say that. Wigs were for the elite mm -hmm. because they could afford things like that. Yeah. Um, when we started to get into the like Victorian era, mm -hmm. that's when regular people started to be able to afford mm. hair pieces. And then as we got into the 1900s, it was, you know, average people could wear wigs. And uh, I even remember seeing pictures of my grandma and there is this little ponytail that hangs down and it's a picture from the 60s and that wasn't real. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, it, Worth it, mentioning that you bought a bunch of hair off Amazon recently. 
that was actually a little while ago, and I haven't done anything with it. I wore I it one time. And it looked ridiculous. <laughs> it's so long. It was so thick, too. I loved it. It was like... So, so if you have, like, thinner hair, which I don't have super thick hair, that is one of the reasons why you would want to, like, add it. But it just, it didn't look, it didn't look natural. Well, it was hard. I tried to, like, cut it, and I was like, this is, like, kind of like horse hair. Yeah. 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 So it was a little difficult well, to hey, work with. I could use some thicker hair myself over here. Yeah. Um. Not that I have thinning hair. I just never, I've always had, like, just really straight. Yeah. Not super thick hair. This, you know, I'm, it is. I'm going to let mine go. I hope you're okay with that. Go, like, gone? Yeah. If it's, if it goes, it goes. Okay. I mean, what do you want me I, to do? I don't know. There's nothing you can do. That's what I'm saying. Hair plugs. You were mentioning hair plugs. I know. I'm getting hair plugs. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm going to let it go. Cul-de-sac okay. and everything. Do I will it. channel uh, the Rick Martinelli Sr. inside of me, and uh, I'll wear a members-only jacket, and I'll let my hair go. Please don't dress like your dad. I won't. Okay. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, all right. So that's it. Okay. Wigs. Yeah, wigs. All right. Wigs. Fun fact. Fun fact. Fun fact. Fun fact. Fun Act. Okay, the 1800s was a time when men's beards and mustaches were looked at as manly, masculine, and powerful. Still are. Yeah. That's why I have this. Yeah. Because I'm powerful. That's right. Yeah. Large beards and long mustaches were the big fashion trend for men, and you were nobody if you couldn't grow a decent beard. Damn. You were nobody. Nobody. Yeah. Unfortunately- it took me a long time to grow a decent beard. Yeah. It was pretty yeah, shitty. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was pretty shitty for a long time. It was, but you were also younger. Yeah, it was. You know, I feel like some guys are able to grow like big. It still beard. could be better. You know what I mean? Like, I can't get like the Al Borland. You know what I mean? Like, the <laughs> like super thick up here and yeah. all the way. I can't That's really a reference a lot of people probably have no idea what you're talking well, about. Well, our listener, our listener base is uh, mostly age 24 to 44. So I think. Oh, uh, so some people will know. Yeah. A lot of, yeah. Okay. I think 35 to 44 is our yeah. biggest. Oh, wow. Listener Weird. Base. Interesting. Well, that's the age we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, there were some men who lacked the ability to grow a good thick beard or mustache, and thus the market for beard growth tonics and even fake beards became a thing. Okay. So before you carry on. So, okay. I follow um, because LJ, my barber, mm -hmm. he is always looking for, because I'm like the only real like beard beard like this that he cuts. Yeah. Everyone else goes like real short. Like he can, he can clean it up and line it up and make it look good, but I'm the only one that has like any length. Oh, okay. So he uh, put me onto this Instagram page called like beard inspiration or something like that. And it's just all these different beard styles. And there's an alarming amount of people that do fake beards. What? Yes. Really? Yes. Yes. Today. Today. In today's world. Right now. Like what? weird stuff, like, like drawing it in, like with like, like markers that like look real. No. And like, yeah, like putting a, like a tape line on their cheek and like draw, like, what? so it looks like a well, like lined up beard. Wow. Things like cutting off the hair from the back of their head before they get a haircut and gluing it on their face. Wait, we're taking like a step back because like this sounds a lot like what we're about to kind of talk to. Not necessarily like the cutting of your own hair, mm -hmm. but like this is interesting. Yeah. So like this is. I'll I show guess, you some. Well, I guess what I'm about to explain to you is not anything new because yeah. we men have apparently been like we need beards for like ever. Yeah. Okay, this is actually the 1800s. Yeah. Um, scented beard oils were introduced and even beard dyes. Mm. Yeah, some guys were like, it's, you know, faint because it's blonde. Mm -hmm. They want it to be more prominent. Sure. Uh, this became a time when some of the first beard grooming products, products became a prominent fixture in society. Mm -hmm. 1800s. Men could choose from a variety of beard types, such as the French fork. Have you ever seen the French fork? No. It's actually really funny. Okay. It's like two big pieces, so it's like this. Oh, I have seen that. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah it's so weird. Um, the French fork, the handlebar and chin puff, mutton chops, the goatee, the chin curtain, boxed beards, friendly mutton chops, which were a mutton chop with a mustache, the Van Dyke, the anchor, the boxcar mustache, the scotch mustache, the ducktail, and so on. Wow. There's a lot of beard types. Yeah. Like, I didn't know there was all of I've these. always wanted to do, like, a silly beard style, but, like, the growing it back part is such you a You could do the French, the do, the, do the French fork. I did, I used to, when I had it real long, when I'm, it was, like, I'm down here. Serious, no, 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 yeah. but I would do that. Like, I would just, like, as a joke. Yeah. I would pull it apart. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think the, uh, the mutton or the friendly mutton chop. Is, yeah, that's the, this, right? Where it's, you There's, like, none right here. 
It's I thought just it was this, just, right? No, uh, the mutton chops are like this, and then it connects to a mustache and just like the chin. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. yeah. Um, there was another one that was really funny. It's like it. a real biker, like kind of a biker thing now. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. It is, yeah. huh? That's pretty funny. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. If men were unable to grow luxurious beards, they could simply wear a wig that had wires attached with a mustache or a beard add on. Which is, that's I feel so like, weird. that's also like obvious. I feel like it's like the, that's like the, what's it called? The, um, like the glasses and with the nose. Yeah, yeah. Musta- like, yeah. Yeah. That's it's weird. like, oh, that's not your. It's obvious. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's just two little wires yeah. <laughs> holding a mustache there. <laughs> yeah. Um, false mustaches and beards could also be worn with adhesives. There have been, uh, there have even been Victorian newspaper reports of women leaving their husbands because they could not live any longer with a man who had no whiskers. Yeah, I mean, you know. That's messed up. Grow a beard, pussy. Yeah, although I have to agree with some of those women. Could you imagine? Yes. If I shaved this beard, I would look like Earthworm Jim. It would not be I don't flattering. know who that is, but I do. If I shaved this beard, I would look like a young Mitch McConnell. It would not be flattering. Oh, That's gross. What I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Wow. Yeah. Sorry, my reaction was so over the top. That's no, fine. That's why I needed wow. it to be. Mitch McConnell. That's what. Oh. Those are two new jokes that I'm telling on stage, by the way. Oh, okay. I have a whole new bit about my beard. My sources are fizz.org. Fizz? I don't know. P-H-Y-S. P-H-Y-S. Fizz. Fizz. Like fizz. physical, physiology. Physiology. Fizz.org. Physical beard. Yeah. Short episode, but I feel like every now and then we could throw in a little one. That's fine. A little guy. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. Not every subject is going to be super in-depth. That's and fine. And that's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I feel like you're really. I trying know. To I'm like, trying. <laughs> you're really trying to save this one. Yes. You're like, it's fine. Yeah, it's great. It's okay. It's great. Guys. There's something really good about this. Yeah, you'll love it. And I think it's good. I and think I like you guys it. Will like it. And I think I knocked it out the park. That's right. You did great, Babs. <laughs> I love it. I thought it was interesting, but also, you know, every now and then we just we gotta we gotta throw in a little guy. It's not even gonna be that short of an episode. We're at 40 minutes recording time. Holy shish kebabs! All right. Well, anyway, thanks for listening, everybody. Yeah, thank you all for listening. That was very interesting. Wigs. We learned about wigs. We learned about beards. I have a beard. I'm going to need a wig. So this is very informative for me. Yeah. Um, uh, if you guys would uh, like to um, financially contribute to this podcast, you can help me eventually get hair plugs. Oh. You can do that on Spotify. <laughs> it's an option. You can do as little as 99 cents a month. You can do as much <laughs> as nine ninety nine a month. That's a real thing. Yeah. But I'm also part of this podcast, too. So you only get 50, 49 of those cents. I'm going to take 50. You're going to get 49 because I need hair plugs. You're the co-host. I'm the host. Hey, this is according to my wife. Yeah, exactly. It's me. Yeah, but I'm the tie. It's me. I am the according to my wife. I have taken ownership. This is about me. (sighs) Don't contribute to the podcast, please. (laughs) It has to be split because she's obsessed with everything being equal. That's and right. you know what? It's not, that's not how life works. So, guess what? You get a bald husband oh, gosh. with no hair plugs. Please subscribe and donate. See, to we our- could add contributors. <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, thank you all. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank um, you so much. Please remember to uh, like and subscribe on YouTube. If you are listening on Apple Podcasts, please subscribe and uh, leave us a five star review. If you are listening on Spotify or watching on Spotify, because we have the video podcast on Spotify. That one died now, so now we're just on this one, and I'm talking to no one. It's just going to be a video of Babs <laughs> while I talk. Um, if you're on Spotify, uh, follow us and uh, leave a positive review. We always do a little Q&A and a, and, a, and a poll or a question on all those episodes. And follow us at According to My Wife on Instagram. You can follow me at Rick Martinelli Comedy. You can follow Babs at Bilbo.Babbins. Um, and if you'd like to come see me do stand-up comedy, uh, go to rickmartinellicomedy.com for all my upcoming dates. All right, that's it. We'll see you guys next time. Toodles. Bye. Bye.